Welcome guys to another episode on dynamic programming and today we are looking at the sequence alignment problem uh, with respect to an example. In my previous video on DPV 6.26 I explained how the process of using a, a scoring matrix works out um, and in this example we're going to take a concrete uh, you know implementation here. So with that, let's look at our scoring matrix. Now scoring matrices are uh, you know, done in various different ways. And I've found a variety of examples of how it could be done. This is a very simple starting point in which what we have done is that if you get a match, you get a one, score of one. If you um, get a mismatch, you get a score of minus one. And if you inject a gap uh, in any side, uh, of the sequence, you get a zero. Now there is much more complicated sequences in use in reality, and there you know you could even see which uh, proteins match uh, have a higher chance of likelihood and so on. So I've seen examples where you know A and T are scored against C and G, and there are different values here. But for the sake of simplicity, uh, let's just stick with this one. It's a fairly easy and straightforward one. But once you get this concept uh, settled then you can apply more complex uh, scoring matrices. So um, with that, let's look at the, um, sorry, let's um, start the beginning. So here, as we said before, let's take two sequences, ATGGCGT on one side and ATGAGT on the other side, okay? And like we said in the previous episode, you start with a gap here on both sides, right? So the first one on this side put it as a gap, this one put it as a gap. And so the initialization condition is going to be, if we said on the gap and gap, put a zero. And then how do you fill this first row in this column really depends on the scoring matrix. Now you see that in this example, we have taken a zero for, if you go a dash against an A, a dash against a D and so on, right? So in this case, what happens is that um, if you come from this side, uh, what you get is it doesn't have to be this dash. When you move in this way, you're skipping whatever character is on this side and taking the character. So it actually introduces a gap. So this movement is going to be uh, a zero because, because we know that a, a gap and an A is a zero, right? So you get a zero here. And then as you keep moving forward in this direction, you keep getting zeros here. And um, so had we taken, uh, let's say the the gap, the dash against the character was, let's say, minus one. So you would basically be accumulating a minus one here. So you start with a zero here, you get a minus one, then this would become minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on. But in our case, what we have done is we have taken a simple example where a dash against any of the characters is a zero. If you do that, then you get um, a zero here for all of them because as you move across this, you get a zero because uh, it's a dash against a T, it's a zero. So if you start from here and you move to the right, it's again, you're skipping the character on this side and taking the character. So it's a dash against a G, it's again a zero and so on. So that's the first row and the same way, the first column, when you come from here down, you're basically skipping the character on this side and taking the next. So it's a dash against an A. This one is a dash against a T. This one is a dash against a G. This one is a dash against an A, dash against a G, and so on. We know that a dash against any character is a zero. So the addition would be a zero, and therefore you get all zeros here. Let's look at this first column here. In this column, what we are up against is that we have to come from all three directions, right? You have to come from this direction, this direction, this direction. In this direction or the left, what we are doing is that we get a, get a, get a dash and an A, right? So dash and A is, is gonna give us a zero. So it's zero and zero becomes a zero. When you come from the up direction, you're getting a dash on this side and you're getting, sorry, you're getting an A on this side and a dash on this side. So A and a dash is also from our scoring matrix, this was a zero. So you get a zero plus zero, which remains a zero. Now in the diagonal side, you get an A and an A, which is a one. 
So zero plus one is a one. So the max of you know the three conditions, which is a zero, zero, and a one, is a one. And so you can see here zero, zero, and a one, the max becomes one. So you write a one here. Likewise, when you come come to this one, when you come from this direction, it's a gap. It's a gap on this side and a t. So you get a, a one from this side. When you come from this side, you get uh, this would be an a and a gap, which would be again a, a zero. When you come from this direction, the diagonal direction, you get uh, you know zero plus a, a, a and t, which is minus one. So you get a minus one on this side. So you pick from this side, which is a one. Right, and from the left side you get a one. So this is the direction. Likewise, you keep moving through this. As you compute this one, it's going to be from the left side. It's going to be one. From the top, it's going to be a zero. Uh, and when you come from this side, it's going to be a minus one. So you pick up on the left. And so likewise, you run through all this, and you'll get the same. You're picking up from the left. Let's look at the next row. In this case, when you go from this side, you get a zero. Coming from the top, you get a one. From this side, you're comparing, so you get a zero minus one. So, so this is copied down. And likewise, if you take the next one, this is t and a t. You come from here, diagonal would be a two. From the left side, you'd get a one. Top, you get a one. So the max would be a two. And so you fill this row. Let's just do the last one. So in the last one, you get a t and a t. So from this side, when you come from the diagonal, you get a two. From the left side, you know, you get a you get a, a dash and a t, so it stays a two. On top, it's it's going to be a t and a dash, which is again remains one. So you take this diagonal, it becomes two. Next row, um, again, let's just work out one of these. Let's take this one in the middle. So from this side, you get um, a dash and a g, so it remains a three. From the top side, it's um, um, it takes a g and a dash, which remains two. And from the diagonal, it's um, a g and a g. So g and a g would give you 2 plus 1, so 3. So this side and this side both will yield you 3. Okay. So that way, you fill up this one. The next row is going to be, you know, let's just take a random example here, this one. So when you look at this example, you're coming from the left, you're going to get a, a um, sorry, a dash and a g going from this side. Dash and a g will stay at 3 if you come down from here. You know, com coming down from the top, it's going to be um, uh, it's going to be a and a dash, and when you get an a and a dash again, it'll remain three. When you come from this side, it's going to be a three and a minus one because it's a and a g, so three minus one is two. So you pick either side, either uh, up or from the left, you'll get a three here, right? So on. Next row down um, again. Very similar exercise. Let's just do one of these. Let's just take this three. So from this three, because this is a G and a T, you'd get a two here because it'd be a minus one. When you come from the left side, it's going to be um, a dash and a T. So it it's, um, remains a four. When you come from there, it's going to be a three. So the max would be from the left side, it's going to be a four. And then the final example, the final row is going to be, you know, let's just take this final version. And then from the left, if you come, it's going to be at a T and T, but it's it's on this side. When you come from the left, you're basically skipping the first one. So it's a dash and a T remains a four. When you come from down, it's going to be uh, it's going to be picking up this T, but nothing from here. So it's going to be a T and a dash and it's going to be four. When you come from this side, you're going to be picking up T and a T. So it's going to be four plus one five. So you end up with a five here and now. If you work backwards as to where you came from, five came from this four, this four came from this three, this three could have come from several places. It could have come from here or here. Let's just pick this one. And then from here, you pick this one uh, and this one and so on. So if you backtrack this, what you get is the following. So from the beginning, you got an A and an A. That was the first one, so A and an A. Then you got a T and T and that one's okay. And then you got a G and a G, so that's okay. And then from there, you got A from this side, but you got nothing from this side. So A and nothing right there. And then you move this way, so it was a G from the other side, but nothing from this side, so nothing here and G. And then it was a C from the other side and nothing on this side, so nothing in a C. And then it was a G and a G, and then a T and a T, a G and G and a T and a T. 
Now, you can see that the score, now you can tally the score. See, the score was one here, one here, one here, and a, a dash against an A is a zero, 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 and then this is one and one. So one, two, three, four, and five. And that's the five right there. So that's it um, for this example, guys. Hopefully, this makes sense to you. Um, there are many other scoring matrices that can be applied um, in these um, kind of problems, and the uh, scoring uh, matrix is really the key to the, uh, the actual solution. So um, this being a very simple example, um, I chose this because it's easy enough that you can you know, even try to do it uh, without applying dynamic programming and make sure the answer makes sense to you. And um, hopefully that helps you out. And if you have more questions or feedback, leave me in the comment section below. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and I will bring you any more doubts. I can clarify the doubts. And uh, if you need more examples, do leave me a comment below. I will bring you those as needed by you guys. So Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys looking at my channel. And until next time, take care and bye-bye.